I'm Troy Kirby with Linwood Today with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. Two bills on child welfare earned a public hearing at the January 20th House, Children, Youth, and Families Committee. House Bill 1194 focuses on parent-child visitation rights, and House Bill 1227 focuses on family rights when responding to abuse or neglect allegations. Both bills are sponsored by 21st Representative Lillian Ortiz Self and 32nd District Representative Lauren Davis. The, the purpose of, um, of this legislation is to ensure that families um, get, get the time with their children and lessen the trauma that they experience from being apart. The current statute requires that children receive visits with their parents within 72 hours of removal. The supervision requirement makes it uh, impossible for this uh, to occur due to submission of the referral and availability of contracted supervisors. Um, over the last 10 years, I've watched children be removed from their families and be placed with strangers without a plan in place for when that child will see their family again. Children that enter into child welfare have no idea what is going on. They are abruptly shifted and removed out of their home and wondering what's happening with their family. The statute as currently written does not give sufficient guidance to judges to enable them to make consistent decisions from case to case and to avoid arbitrary decision-making. Most families that I work with do not have a high enough level of a safety threat needed to have their children removed. They've had a crisis and they need support through it. LCYC supports the Keeping Families Together legislation because we recognize that it's undeniable and uncontroverted that the child welfare system nationwide has clear disproportionate impact on families of color. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by Linwood Today, covering the 2021 legislative session.